Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Who pays for the ambulance in a car accident? Picture this. You're in a car accident. Sirens blare and an ambulance arrives. But who foots the bill for this ride? The answer isn't straightforward. It can depend on a myriad of factors. Let's explore this puzzle piece by piece. Insurance often plays a key role in ambulance fee coverage. If you're insured, your policy might cover the cost. However, coverage varies widely among policies. Some cover the full amount, while others cover only a portion. What if the other driver is at fault? Their insurance may pay for your ambulance. This is part of liability coverage, but it's not guaranteed. No insurance? The situation gets trickier. You might receive a bill directly, and in some places, local government may cover the cost. This is more common in areas with publicly funded EMS. Medicaid and Medicare beneficiaries have certain coverages too. Medicare Part B may cover ambulance services. Medicaid coverage varies by state but often includes emergency transport. Sometimes the car accident bill can be disputed. If there's a dispute, payment might be delayed. During this time, no parties pay until a decision is reached. Remember, laws and regulations differ by state and county. Always check local rules for the most accurate information. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.